All right, this is that other crypto store I was telling you about. Apparently, the uh, Ethereum 2.0 transition is going to dramatically cut the energy use on Ethereum. Uh, apparently, it will use 99.95% less energy than current proof of work Ethereum. Because energy efficiency has become this hot topic of conversation around crypto and and uh well, Elon started it. I mean, it was happening before that, but he amplified it, certainly. And so there was a short period of time where people were rapidly trying to move their crypto into coins that were perceived as, or not even perceived, but actually were more energy efficient on a per transaction basis. Well, Ethereum has had this 2.0 plan for a long time. This is the transition from proof of work to proof of stake, proof of work being... Uh, more like Bitcoin, uh, how Bitcoin operates. And now you have some figures indicating that it's actually quite a bit less energy consumption than the current setup, 99% less, um, by, by conservative calculations, by the way. Mm. Taking the total number of validators, unique addresses, and the average energy consumed by hardware into account, the resulting figure was significantly lower than Ethereum's current energy demands using proof of work. There's actually a nice little comparison in here, which might be easier to uh, visualize. Proof of stake Ethereum consumes something on the order of 2.62 megawatts. Rather than being on the scale of countries or provinces for energy consumption, or even cities, it would be the equivalent to a small town or around 2,100 American homes. Currently, in the proof-of-work consensus mechanism, the same thing Bitcoin is using, uh, a single Ethereum transaction, this actually kind of blew me away, a single Ethereum transaction uses the same amount of electricity as a house would use being powered for 2.8 days. Wow. One transaction. But that's nothing compared to Bitcoin. Again, according to Decrypt here, Bit a single Bitcoin transfer consumes 38 days worth of household electricity. Hmm. A single transaction. This is pretty wild. When you move to proof of stake, which is Ethereum 2.0, and this essentially means that transactions are validated based on coin that is staked, held, as opposed to a bunch of mining rigs, uh, then the electricity used for a single transaction is more like 20 minutes of TV watching. Hmm. For, okay, so that's not too bad. Per transaction. So sure, give you an idea of the difference in these uh, this uh, transition. So anyway, you know, this news is obviously a thing that is kind of timely as the market just jumps off a cliff you come out there and say hey hey 2.0 solves all your problems don't go looking for some other uh crypto stick with us mm -hmm. we got all sorted out anyway i don't know whatever i'm in it whatever